Hey Virgo, so this is for Virgos who are dealing with a Leo for the month of December 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get a Virgos coming with the Magician, Nine of Wands, and the Six of Wands. So it looks like this person wants to come back and they want to manifest you back into this relationship that they had had with you here, Virgos. Maybe this person was uh, in a three-party situation. Maybe, maybe this person was trying to manifest money. They're working for a big, huge corporation here with the Magician, Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Maybe this person had to put their work uh first before actually putting a relationship before their work maybe their money was a little bit fucked up or whatever the case is but i do believe that this person had three party situation going on not more so to people but more so work is how i'm seeing that with the three of pentacles ten of pentacles whatever work it was that they was doing they were manifesting big virgos they were manifesting for them to be rich or wealthy for them to be able to be in a huge corporation for them to work really really hard uh, but nonetheless, uh, this person definitely had their guard up at the end of the day uh, because they knew that they weren't able to uh, offer you the relationship or the commitment that you guys were genuinely looking for. This person was definitely running away from a relationship here with you guys and they were not able to fulfill that. You know, this person definitely took you for granted. Uh, maybe some of you guys are doing online dating. You know, you guys met this person or the fact that this person lives at a distance from you guys. But I do see quite a distance between the two of you guys. And you're not really understanding how or what had happened between the relationship between you and this person. Uh, nonetheless, they are guarded. They are intimidated. They're intimidated by a connection. They're intimidated by having a relationship. Maybe some of you guys wanted a, a full-out relationship. Maybe even told this person you want to get married, you know, have kids, whatever the case is. And they just got scared and they ran the fuck off for goes. But nonetheless, this person is going to be coming running back towards you guys. You guys have reached this... Uh, energy of the six of wands so maybe you guys are getting a lot of people in your life who are all of a sudden interested in you like a people coming in left right and center people from the past are coming in people from the present people from the future are coming in and you're just getting that right re respect and res re 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 <laughs> recognition virgos the fuck you mean so this person's coming right and right back towards you guys so they're going to come in wanting to speak to you but by the time that this person comes back for you you're going to feel too proud like you're, you're so proud you know, of you you know what i mean like it's like, oh, ha, 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 I, I knew you were going to come back. I knew, <laughs> I knew you was going to come back. Uh, Leo is a little bit fucked up at the moment here, Virgo. Maybe both of you guys are fucked up too, uh, seriously. Uh, this person's kind of acting like they don't care, but you guys still care about them, which is causing you guys a lot of stress and not wanting to be able to move forward. Some of you guys may have been arguing a lot with this person too with the cherry card in reverse. So I do believe that some of you guys may have been having like a really fucked up relationship but back from all the way uh july june at the end of the june and july energy is like you guys that's when shit's just started going sideways you know especially for the last eight weeks shit has not been doing all that great for you guys uh but you guys definitely feel stressed and trapped over the situation You're just not knowing and not sure what the fuck's really going on but you feel defeated by it you feel like you don't want to move forward anymore you you're it's, it's fucking your head up paranoia fear stress um lots of stress you know what i mean because they're not putting you first virgos queen of pentacles you guys is back is against each other so it's like you guys are ready to move forward and take off uh on a different direction this leo looks like they want to go on with their life virgos and leave everything behind unfortunately they want to run back off so this person wants to run back off to living that free-spirited life being toxic uh, sleeping with people, having addictions, partying, drinking. This is what they want to do. They don't want to be in a relationship at all. They just want to be living their best life and doing their any whatever. But if they go into this direction, they will end up becoming stuck. While you guys jump into Hermit uh, and trying to figure out like what's wrong with this person, you it's like saying you guys continue to go towards your spiritual journey because a lot of you guys might be going through some sort of spiritual awakening at the moment and educate yourself with your intuition and whatever the fuck it is that you guys are dealing with on a spiritual uh, journey that you guys are going through whatever the hell this person's going through they chose they said no i mean i want to be in no relationship i'm going to go on with my life and we want party and drink and and burn them blunts and whatever the fuck else what so this person is wanting to be free and just going on adventures left right and center virgos all right uh, this, uh, this Leo wants to come back. Eventually they're going to end up coming back towards you guys and wanting to apologize to you. I don't see them coming in just yet to apologize to you, but I do see that they're going to come in into the future to apologize to you, Virgos, because whatever the fuck's going on over there, 
nothing is working out for them down here. All right. So they're going to try. They're like thinking they're like reminiscing about you. They're feeling nostalgia. They're like, oh, my God, what have I done? I went in this direction. I should never have fucking ran off and did my thing. Somebody said uh, uh, porn. What the fuck you mean? All right, Virgo, somebody here does this type of stuff or they watch a ton of it. All right. Um, but nonetheless, the Six of Cups, Page of Cups energy. So this person is going to be thinking about coming back in and apologizing to you. They are very much so stuck, but during the full moon energy in the month of December, they are going to be really heartbroken and really disappointed in themselves with the fact that they chose to leave you, put you in the position of the Eight of Swords, and then run off and go do some stupid shit behind your back and then live that lifestyle that's not good for them at the end of the day. Uh, meanwhile, they should have been in hermit and taking time for themselves with the hangman, but they didn't. They went and they jumped immediately with the stupid shit. Uh, so uh, during the full moon energy, this person is in fact going to come back and try and apologize to you, but they're very dis indecisive. They're like, should I? Should I not? What do I do? I bet I miss them, Virgos. I miss them, Leo. I don't know what to do. Should I? And they are definitely heartbroken. So not just yet, Virgos, but they are coming in, all right? So they're going to look at you as you're the Ace of Pentacles. This is how they're viewing you. They see you as the Ace of Pentacles to the Lover's card. So they're seeing you as somebody that they're very, very much so attracted to, that they are definitely, in fact, uh, infatuated. Yeah, okay, so they're infatuated with you, Virgos. Uh, they're infatuated with you they find you beautiful they're attracted to you they're they whatever they're 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 they're, they're what okay they're just sexually aroused by you at the end of the day and on top of that if they were to be sleeping with other people I guess nobody else is doing that the way that you guys did it so I guess you guys uh, threw that shit down Virgos one time and this person knows that they're not going to be able to get that energy somewhere else. So this person does not have any options in love anymore with the seven of pentacles reversed, the lovers and the four of pentacles and they're releasing it and letting it go. So they're going to come back towards you with the knight of cups. You guys have, may have been waiting for this person but it may have been about two months since this has been happening. So even in the month of the end of October to the month of November, this person shit's gonna be this shit has been fucking falling apart uh but nonetheless virgos this person's coming back they waited a long time they're trying to find a way with the two who wants to come back after the ending that had happened they are worried and stressed the fuck out that they're not going to be able to have another opportunity here with you the cycle's going to come in it's like this person's going to push for the cycle because they want to talk to you they want to make amends with you justice card because they know that they got caught with the seven of swords they did they got caught they got caught for it, Virgos, and now they want to come back and give to you with the Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. So this person's hoping that they can come back, redeem themselves, and make a more of a quiet but stable offer towards you. They're not trying to rush into anything because what they're wanting, they want the Ten of Cups here with you. So if that means it's like getting to know each other all over again, giving and taking from each other, balancing it out 50-50, uh, I do believe that slow and steady wins the race, Ten of Cups. So believe me, you, a uh, reunion is on the way for you guys, Virgos. A lot of you guys still love this person uh, quite a lot, and it just fucks you guys up a little bit with the Eight of Swords. So at the end of the day, there is going to be a reunion, Virgos. Your Leo is going to reach out to you, so do expect the message coming in from them. They know that they've been going through a lot themselves after they had abandoned you like this, but they... They, they did that because they were very much so defensive. So they're going to try and work on themselves and get their strength back to <sighs> work on the connection. A lot of you guys may have just been focusing on your money, focusing on your work, focusing on things that are so important for you and just kind of like leaving Leo to the side here. Uh, and you guys are just really being more so patient with your Leo because you guys know that your Leo is tripping for whatever the fuck what. And if it's vice versa, then it's vice versa. You know the energy, place it wherever the fuck you need it adults do what you need to do you know who belongs to who uh so the king of pentacles uh, virgo energy is being really patient with you because they know the truth they know that you're being defensive because you're still not emotionally and and co ready for commitment because you're still a page at the end of the day so do expect the message coming in from them and while you guys are already sitting in the king and queen position they have dropped themselves down to a page so i do believe that when they reach out to you they're going to be a little bit a little bit defensive, but also at the same time, a little bit shy as well, right? So Scorpio is going to come to the realization that you guys have bossed the fuck up 
And in order for them to be coming towards you, they need to boss the fuck up as well. This person's going through stress, burden. They realize that the, everybody, the direction that they went into was a complete loss for them. So they're ready to come back in and shoot their shot. They want to come in and, and maybe there's going to be some sort of shooting at some sort of bar here, uh, Virgo. So be mindful, okay? Also, sweeties, it, the, they're saying that the bartender, if you guys are going to a bar, it's it, this was... The, you need to tip the bartender, the bar, beret, <laughs> uh, okay then, vertigos, always be careful at the end of the day, uh, but nonetheless, your Leo is going to be uh, contacting you very soon, and a lot of you guys are going to be like, I'm feeling myself, literally feeling yourselves, because you guys knew that, they, that your Leo was going to come back to you or vice versa, right? So they're wanting to come back. They want to talk to you and heal their relationship because they're hoping that you guys will have a second opportunity with this person. But they've been feeling very sad and really like just drowning in their feelings at the end of the day. Like really thinking really fucking negative, pessimistic, uh, really having a big black cloud over their heads and just thinking that they're never going to be able to get you guys again. But this person still holds on to you very, very dearly. They do have a really big heart though. Like Leo's got a really big heart, but they just said they're full of them themselves so maybe this person is very full of themselves and this is why they put themselves in the ten of sword and because they're full of themselves just humble yourself a little bit you see me but they are going to be put into a position of the ten of swords for rejecting your offer because they know they rejected you when they didn't have to and they thought and they thought that it's okay for them to be kind and and it, it, they thought it was okay for them to be manipulative and selfish and only about themselves and even though you guys this person knew you're highly intuitive they thought that it was uh, still okay maybe some of you guys also do tarot readings or you guys pull your own cards at the exact same time virgos but it's just simply letting you know like yo you're leo uh <laughs> but it looks like you guys keep it a secret meaning you guys don't really tell people that you're pulling cards like you don't check people you don't you know what i mean you don't so that's crazy okay so at the end of the day this person doesn't know that you're intuitive. They don't know that you pull cards. They don't know that because you're very quiet, you're very secretive. You don't let people see your whole hand. Uh, so they would underestimate you because the way you carry yourself, you carry yourself as a page of pentacles. So you always have the upper hand in this situation here because this Leo doesn't know your hand. They don't know what you're capable of, right? And you guys are very loving, kind, and sweet Virgos. You're very beautiful, and this person knows that. This person knows that very, very much. And they see you. They believe that they have a really big connection here with you. So they want to come back towards you guys. But they view you as someone who's very, very mysterious. Somebody who can have everything in the world that they want. Very much so protected. And they want to start this new beginning with you. But all the lies and deception that this person has caused you uh, is, is going to get you guys to argue with this person quite a bit. But you guys are happy. You're manifesting. You're living your best life. Like, you know what I mean? Like, on the days where it's really sunny, you guys are really, like, living your best life. This person's really got to stop being so full of themselves. I just, I, They just keep saying, like, they're full of themselves they're full of themselves somebody here is like simply very much so fucking full of yeah need to humble yourself you're not you're not all that i'm sorry to say it but maybe you think you're all that but if your spirit is saying yo you're full of yourself then maybe you need to take it down a fucking notch because just because you think you're full of yourself it doesn't give you the right to disrespect people because look at the way you're running back to the one that you disrespected so what is the reason for you to be feeling so full of yourself all right take it easy Take it the fuck ease. All right? Yeah, judgment's coming, being called in. He's saying, like, yo, calm the fuck down, four of swords. Like, calm the fuck down. Stop stop partying. Stop only going around people who are wanting to sleep with you. Stop thinking that just because you got a big D, it, you give you think that you, you can have everything and anything you can be full. Yo, humble yourself straight up, all right? Um, but at the end of the day, judgment's being called in, Virgos. It's saying if you're going to be fighting with this person with the moon card, five of wands, and the four of swords during the new moon or the sorry during the new moon or the full moon energy in the month of december they said around december 25th which is fucked up because that's christmas okay so if you guys are arguing with this person it's saying like yo be mindful the fuck about it right especially if you guys are going to be going to some sort of party and then an argument comes out you know saying calm down because i do believe that somebody here is going to be arguing really badly and then spirit is trying to let you know like yo just chill for a second don't be fighting and arguing with anybody at this party especially during christmas like what the fuck like fuck off straight up like be fucking kind and be mindful it's christmas time uh ace of cups so spirit is going to be bringing you guys in this beautiful gift virgos and it's coming and it's waiting for you guys 
with the three of wands this all this shit had to happen because this is going to be shocking very much so shocking for you guys you guys are letting this relationship go you're choosing to move on with your life you're choosing to say you know what the universe and the spirits they all have something better in here for me i'm moving on uh the universe is going to bless you guys up virgos with prosperity abundance tranquility happiness and true love which is going to be coming towards you all of this had to come to a complete ending it had to it's going to shake your world up i don't believe this tower is a bad tower i do believe the tower is going to be like like oh my god i can't believe all of this is actually happening for me after i thought you know you really didn't think any of this was going to come for you guys virgos because a lot of you guys struggle in a lot of areas of your life whoever i'm talking to so you guys being the virgo and leo it could be vice versa virgos okay so at the end of the day at the end of the day realistically it's the virgo it is the virgo. it's the nine of pentacles it's the virgo you guys are moving on with your life, Virgos, and you're leaving Leo behind. You know that the future has so much more for you in store, and this is going to come in with a tower card. The universe is going to move you whether you like it or not. And whatever the universe is choosing to bring for you with the three of wands, they're saying like, yo, don't be afraid of the unknown. Don't be afraid of it. Because whatever you see is coming towards you, all of this had to come to a complete ending, so better can come for you guys. So this relationship is going to come to a complete ending. Also, Virgos, do not chase your Leo. Because if you're going to end up running back and chasing your Leo, that tower is going to be coming in as a bad tower for you guys. You have to look at it in two different ways. You're either going to leave it alone and move on with your life and go towards the best things that you guys have ever wanted, or you're going to chase after your Leo and know that the relationship between the two of you guys is just going to end up in a disaster. You choose, Virgos. Where do you guys place your energy? Thanks, cuties. Bye.